Hi, I'm Peter Hannock and I'm here with George Small of Move. George, you have come into the industry, construction industry, in January this year, 2022, mm -hmm. and literally you've helped Komatsu build a brand new electric machine. Now, it's unusual to me for a business like yours, well established in other industries, mm -hmm. to make the decision to come into the construction sector. But there's a big reason for it, folks. We're going electric. That's right. And it's the electric wheel loader you've been helping Komatsu with, but also you're helping other brands to discover how to use your components within the electric journey. Mm -hmm. What's it all about and how does it work? So what we're doing with our customers is helping them figure out how to put together a solution quickly, cost effectively, and reducing the risk in time to market. There's a lot of change going on in the industry as there's a need to move to more electric solutions. That requires a lot of change. A lot of different pieces have to get switched out. So what you don't want to do is take this piece part approach to building a solution to get out of whatever's out of there is existing equipment, maybe not fit for purpose. So what Moog's able to do is tailor components to meet the needs of the application, but also work closely with our customers to integrate a solution and quickly bring it to market. Now, you're talking about components there. What are those key components that you actually manufacture sure. that can help design a wheel loader like this? Yeah. So typically what we're doing is taking a machine, a diesel hydraulic machine, where first step, take the diesel engine out, remove the fuel system, remove the hydraulics, replace those with electric actuation, motors and controllers, and a battery system. And then having all those pieces work together with the controls on the machine that the operator would interface with. But that all has to get done effectively, efficiently, um, and then with a path to market that actually will be successful. And the thing about this is, you know, we see hydraulics, we talk about hydraulic fluids, mm -hmm. we talk about things like that, but actually when you get an electric motor that can actually use some of your components, right. you take some of that oil out of the equation. There's a range of solutions, and yeah. the way we like to approach it is we don't pick our favorites in technologies. We like to understand what our customers are trying to achieve, but in a lot of times it's trying to improve the efficiency of machines, getting to an electric solution. And in a lot of cases, there might be an environmental concern to remove hydraulics, but really pulling all the efficiency, all the stops out for efficiency, sometimes moves us to full electric solutions. But yeah. it's sort of a range or a continuum. You can start with a very simple solution of removing the diesel engine, replacing that with a large brushless motor, spinning a hydraulic pump, and using the conventional hydraulic controls. That'll get you a start, but if you really want to improve the efficiency, there's a lot that can be gained to moving to fully electric. And so that can be done on both the traction drives to improve efficiencies, and it can also be done on the actuation. We have anywhere from just a few degrees of um, actuation on a machine to something as complex as an excavator, where we have a large number of axes. Something like a wheel loader, a track loader, it's a fairly straightforward exercise to take the hydraulics out and replace those with electric motors, drives, and power cylinders, or ball screw actuators as we would typically call them. So when we look at the fact that if you're doing that and going all electric, mm -hmm. obviously you've got some efficiency savings in the, the actual fuel, the, the electricity For sure. that you use. Yeah. And you know, with electric, we always know that it's, it's literally, it's right there. Yep. You know, the motor's right there, it's instantaneous. So yep. when you look at an electric wheel loader like the one you've done with Komatsu, mm -hmm. you know, what are the efficiencies that you've actually been able to gain for them as a customer within that process? Right. There are hydraulic losses in the systems. In a throttle controlled hydraulic system like we would normally implement, um, there are a large number of losses. We're getting rid of those to a large degree. With the electric, it is power on demand as opposed to continuous power consumption. And so we have improvements there. And then we have instantaneous delivery of torque, and that can let us get by with smaller output effectors, right. basically. So there's a few different ways you can improve efficiencies. It's really the technologies underpinning them that are the enablers, but it's a matter of understanding what the problems are, understanding the duty cycles these machines get used in, and then optimizing an overall integrated solution. What's interesting for me though, folks, is how we look at parts. So, you know, when we're talking yeah. about the life cycle of a machine, mm -hmm. you've got the hydraulic components and things like that that need a lot of maintenance. When you're looking at your parts that are replacing them, mm -hmm. and that there's obviously no fluids in some of that, therefore you've got the wear and the, the whole element of that is reduced. So the overall maintenance costs of an electric a product in that context are very different, aren't yeah, they? Fewer components, absolutely. fewer yeah. fuels, fewer things to go wrong. Yeah, reduced parts count, you don't have the large moving masses that you normally have with an internal combustion machine. 
and you have pieces that are actually developed for the entire service life of the machine. And so add it all up together, and you do have a greatly reduced maintenance uh, burden on the machine operation. And of course, with advanced battery technologies, you get a full cycle out of a wheel loader as well, and then charge it up on site. So great to meet you today. Very nice. Thanks for very talking us around the, the new way of working for mm -hmm. all electric and semi-electric. But great to see you coming in, bringing in technologies that are already being used around that, the industries right. that you work in. They, these are mature industries. That's yeah. kind of the message. These are mature solutions we're bringing to new industries, and then being able to do that quickly with our customers at low risk. Fantastic to meet you. Fantastic to see how this is all working. Very good. Cheers. Nice to meet you.